study. Ready to start? Don't you be a part Don't do it. of your community. Respect it. Pro jovem school is that. Life with dignity. Life with dignity. I can make a better world, of this I am sure. Pro jovem school, here I've learned. I can make a better world, of this I am sure. Pro jovem school, here I've learned. A better lesson you can start now. Taking care of your people, helping your town. Love and justice with your family. Your neighbors and your friends will see the best way to live. I can make a better world, of this I'm sure. Projovin school, here I've learned. I can make a better world, of this I'm sure. Projovin school, here I've learned. Lesson 31. A little help from my friends. No nosso último encontro, vimos tudo o que aprendemos nas nossas últimas nove lições. Viram quanto evoluímos? Estamos aprendendo muito. We are learning a lot. Estão prontos para mais? Are you ready for more? Então, concentrem-se, porque hoje, today, o futuro nos aguarda. We are going to have lunch. Do you want to join us? Oh, not now. I'm not hungry. Besides, I have to finish this first. But why don't you go ahead? And I'll meet you there in 30 minutes. Ok, guys. Chegamos no futuro. Temos duas maneiras de expressar o futuro in English. Uma delas é através do going to. For example, We are going to have lunch. E outra maneira é através do will, for example. I will meet you there in 30 minutes. O will é um novo auxiliar, right? Ele é o auxiliar do futuro. We are going to have lunch. Do you want to join us? Oh, not now. I'm not hungry. Besides, I have to finish this first. But why don't you go ahead and I'll meet you there in 30 minutes? Vocês já devem ter reparado que o going to já apareceu bastante por aqui. What do you want to do today? Don't you remember? We are going to your house. How often should I take this medicine? Four times a day. In five days you're going to be fine. What is this movie we are going to see? It is a Brazilian movie. I love Brazilian cinema. A novidade, então... É o will. I will explain. Eu vou explicar. No futuro tudo fica mais fácil, porque o will é o auxiliar para todas as pessoas. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Assim como did no passado. Remember? Por exemplo. We always have pizza for lunch. Vamos passar esta frase para o futuro. No futuro basta colocar o will depois do sujeito e antes do verbo. We will have pizza for lunch today. E se fosse uma frase no presente com she? Tipo, she has pizza for lunch every day. Como ela ficaria no futuro? Mesma coisa. E o has vira have. Presta atenção. Pay attention. She will have pizza for lunch today. E se fosse... I have pizza for lunch every day. Same thing. I will have pizza for lunch today. Get it? E para as perguntas, adivinhem. Guess. Basta inverter o verbo. We will have pizza for lunch. Will we have pizza for lunch? She will have pizza for lunch today. Will she have pizza for lunch today? I will have pizza for lunch today. Will I have pizza for lunch today? Para negar, é só colocar o not. Simple as that. We will not have pizza for lunch. Or, we won't have pizza for lunch. Will not, won't. Is that clear, guys? No mystery. You look worried with this project, Julia. I am. The goal of this project is to develop a selective recycling at our neighborhood. I have two months to finish it, otherwise it won't be working by the end of this year. Why don't we help you? 
That would be great. Tonight, I'll call Lucas and see if he can help us too. Great, good. Hoje nós vamos aprender algumas expressões para ligar uma frase à outra. Isso vai ser muito útil quando estivermos escrevendo textos em inglês. Duas delas já apareceram aqui para a gente. We are going to have lunch. Do you want to join us? Oh, not now. I'm not hungry. Besides, I have to finish this first. But why don't you go ahead and I'll meet you there in 30 minutes? Besides significa além disso. E but é o mesmo que mas. Vejam se vocês conseguem reconhecer alguma outra palavra de ligação nesta cena. I have two months to finish it. Otherwise, it won't be working by the end of this year. Viram algo de novo? Did you see something new? Aí está ela. Otherwise. Antes de eu dizer na lata o que significa para vocês, tentem entender a seguinte frase. I have two months to finish it. Otherwise, it won't be working by the end of the year. Hmm. Esta fica de presente para vocês tentarem descobrir o que é. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. It's so nice to have you here. We will learn a lot with this project. On the other hand, I want you to know, it's not going to be easy. Cheer up, Julia. We are here to help you. So, what are we going to do? We have two months to go. These are the things we have to finish by the end of this week. Lucas, you'll be in charge of this research here. I'll help you with that, okay? Pedro Mariana, you can start with this. Viram? Logo no início apareceu uma nova expressão. On the other hand. On the other hand. Dá para adivinhar o que ela significa? É uma expressão bacana para vocês conhecerem. E apareceu também um novo phrasal verb que é cheer up, que significa anime-se. Bola para frente, rapaz. Cheer up. Don't be sad, don't be upset, guys. For every problem there's a solution, you know. Mm, I get by with a little help from my friends. Gonna try with a little help from my friends. I have an idea. Why don't we bring some posters to put up around our neighborhood, explaining why recycling is important? That is a good idea. Even though we will have more work to do, it's going to be good for the project. People, I can't thank you enough. Working with a group can be hard sometimes. However, we can have other thoughts, other views we can count on. First, a new phrasal verb. To put up. To put up significa pregar alguma coisa, colar na parede, algo assim. E duas novas palavras de ligação. São elas. They are. However and even though. Vou dar uma colher de chá para vocês. However significa entretanto ou mesmo assim. E even though significa apesar de. Mas vamos ver onde elas aparecem, como elas são utilizadas. Even though we will have more work to do, it's going to be good for the project. People, I can't thank you enough. Working with a group can be hard sometimes. However, we can have other thoughts, other views we can count on. Então, deu para entender melhor? Julia, I have a friend who works at a recycling center. Do you want me to call her? And see if she can help us? Of course. There will be a great help. Hello, Cuz. How are you doing? My friends and I are going to develop a selective recycling at our neighborhood. Therefore, I thought it would be interesting for us to know how the recycling center works. Oh, sure, Cuz. It's gonna be a pleasure. We have a lot of interest in projects like yours. It's nice to know that young people stand up for causes like recycling. Are you free tomorrow afternoon? Okay, we'll be there at four. Bye bye. All set, guys. Centro de reciclagem. Esta vai ser uma ótima referência. 
But let's see what's new here. Therefore, linking word, palavra de ligação. Esta da ideia de consequência, significa portanto ou sendo assim, therefore, gonna. É um jeito mais rápido e informal de dizer going to. Ao invés de falarmos it's going to be a pleasure, dizemos it's gonna be a pleasure, ok? E stand up for é mais um phrasal verb que significa lutar por ou defender algo ou alguém. E está na hora da nossa revisão. Já estamos no futuro. We are already in the future. Vimos o will e going to, que são ambos auxiliares do futuro. E vimos também algumas palavras de ligação. Vejamos mais algumas para podermos entender melhor. Let's see some more so we can understand better. Even though I will have to work tomorrow morning, I'm going out with my friends tonight. I like chocolate. However, they made me gain weight. Therefore, I don't eat too much of it. I want to go home, but I have to finish this paper first. Estas palavras são muito importantes. These words are very important para ligar uma ideia à outra. Principalmente, especially, quando escrevemos um texto. E está dada a minha dica de hoje. Por que vocês não escrevem um texto? Falando sobre algo que vocês desejam para o futuro. Good idea, huh? E não se esqueçam de utilizar tudo o que aprendemos até agora, ok? Ok. Teacher, good luck now, they're all yours. Beijos, kisses, tchau, bye bye.